In this portion of the project, I'll be milling the slots and the sides of the base, which will enable the spindex, spindexer to swivel up and down. Uh, right here is an image of the side. Uh, this slot right there is what I'll be doing. Uh, I'll be doing that over on the rotary table. I'll show you right here, which I'm <clears throat> getting set up right now to cut the second piece. Being that there's two of them, it kind of turned this into a slight production run. Uh, I already have one finished right here, which you can see. Uh, is what I did is pop down the rotary table, indicated the ID on the recess on there, and earlier I made up a couple of plugs, which this is one of them, a little bit smaller uh, OD here for a different part. But the hole going through the center right here is three, quarter of a, three quarters of an inch, 750 thousandths. I uh, made the plug to fit into there nice and snug. Once I got the rotary table all mounted in and indicated in, I set the veneer on the side of it oops, to 100 degrees. Uh, these radiuses, I'll show you right here, is going to be 100 degrees so I can have a sure fit of swiveling the pivot, uh, pivoting the indexing head 45 degrees one way or another, up or down. Uh, I chose 100 on the veneer here just for easy math. So if I start off dead nut zero, oops, if I start off zero at 100 degrees, all I have to do is swing the rotor table 50 degrees to the left, 50, de 50 degrees to the right. Just went with that as easy math. Uh, after I got this plate down here, I got the three fingers holding it down fairly snug and then ran the indicator across the face of it to make sure it's nice and square. Uh, wheeled in the coordinates to where we needed to make the radius, which is 100, uh, which is one inch. Just show you right there, it's one inch by a quarter. And just went to work on it. Thought I'd shared a little pin idea here. Made it for easy alignment doing a second piece. Just popped the piece right on there and all you have to do is indicate the face of it. And everything was already concentric with the center of the rotary table. Right here is that little plug or pin that I was talking about earlier. Just wanted to give a quick shot of that. It just pops right into the, uh, oh, it's a snug fit. Well, anyway, it pops into the center down there. And that's what I was using as an alignment pin. Pop it onto there and it indicated across the face of it. And that's the second piece done. There's the first one. And there's a second one. Just wanted to share that. Thought it was a quick, easy way of setting up multiple pieces if you ever had to do any sort of production run. At least one way of doing it.